Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Morning Motivational Rant. I am your host, Dino the Genetic Marvel, and with me, as always, is Crystal Morenci. Good morning, Crystal. How are you today? I'm good, Dino. How are you doing? Good morning, everybody. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm having a great day. Are you? Yeah, no, it took me, it took me a little extra long this morning to uh, not be a piece of shit. That was... Uh, uh -huh. This is the problem is that, see, uh, no, no, you know what, listen, I'm, I'm not easy to get along with, I'm not easy to live with, I'm, I'm very frustrating because I like things exactly the way they are. I like things, so if there's, if there's a set way of doing things or there's a specific plan, then I like to keep to the plan. That's my, how I like to operate. So when, when I say, like, when things don't go to plan, I find it very aggravating. Now, as, as a grown-up, as an adult, I've learned that those things happen. It's not a big deal. Now, for about the first 10 to 15 minutes when I wake up in the morning, I'm not, I'm not a person. I'm an animal. And I want to kill people. I'll be honest. I'm straight up. Like if if you if you walked into my room and were like Dino wake up and tried to shake me, I would grab you by the throat and just start beating the living fuck out of you. Like I I do not respond well to that. And uh, Ooh. yeah, it's not no because I, I just I just thank God that I'm not your wife because you would hate <laughs> me. You would kill because <laughs> I'm one of those. Well, good morning. Oh, guess what? I see. That's the thing is if you if you are like six feet if you are a few feet away and you like just like poke me and then you know i be like <laughs> back up. But if you're like wait, God, there's an emergency. The emergency is your life is over and you're gonna die. That's what uh, like I just I don't like it at all. And that's why, like, when I was growing up, so I was the youngest of five kids. So I had four siblings. Oh. So you yeah, had to, I, I was it. always ready for attack. <laughs> that's what it was. I'm like, that's, <laughs> I, I don't like hugging because that's a distraction from someone else who's going to attack you. That's what it is. <laughs> I don't leave myself vulnerable in that way. That way, when people, even people hug me. That's why you're so scarred. <laughs> that's why I'm, that's why I'm so messed up. When people hug me, I'm like, okay, I'm waiting to defend <laughs> from happening? something that may be approaching. I am being distracted. <laughs> You know, I am ready. It's a setup. <laughs> it's, it's a setup. <laughs> and that's the thing is like I try and be positive in the morning, but I'm like I need like a solid, a solid few minutes in the morning where just don't don't <laughs> don't do anything, don't react to anything. So it's like so I keep I keep my so don't read your phone. Oh no no no! no. If I can <laughs> if I can read, read my phone, I'm already good. I've I've already I've already switched <laughs> over, you know, and so it's like okay. It's uh yeah. It's not. Fun. I don't I don't enjoy it. I don't enjoy this, and that's why it's just like if I wake up. So I like I keep I keep my my bottle my water canister and another bottle of water. So that kind of sets me off for the day, right? His stardew. That's, that's on up. They're nice people. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Anyways, I'll have that. They I'll have nice that on people. a little table we have at the end of the bed. And Victoria will go and fill those up in the morning, and I'm very appreciative for that. If I wake up and they're not there, I'm just like, why are my waters not here? Wow. And it's just it's. See. And that's why I have. I thought about that. I need I need a few minutes just to, you know what? Welcome to the couch. I'm going to lie you on the couch right now of Crystal, of psychiatry. Nope, Are you ready? No, definitely not. I'm definitely not ready well, for let's do, Well, we're doing it anyways. Go for it. So, <laughs> so I think the problem, and a lot of people have this, is that somebody will do something, like they over, like everybody says, well, I don't want to work too hard because then they're going to expect me to work too hard all the time. True. Right? So people will do something really nice or they'll do something at a quick manner. So people expect that mm -hmm. all the time. So, and that's why if somebody, you know, doesn't really do too much 100%, they, people don't expect that from True. them. Well, it goes both ways. Yes. 
So if somebody's every day filling up your water and you ex now you expect it. Instead of it being like just a nice gesture, now it's kind of become like an expectation. No, no. Uh, so if a person's good to you or if a person is usually on top of sending files and then all of a sudden they, they're they slacking or something's going on, it gives oh, them, now all of a sudden it's really? expected. To really? Have, really? They, really? So if somebody Fuck works hard you. or whatever, then it's expected. So if they're there's any leeway it's the same with Victoria filling up your water and stuff it's a very nice gesture not everybody would do that but now it's expected and now when it doesn't happen it gets kind of like you know the person gets angry over something that was at time just a cure occur uh, like a courtesy there we go that was the word I was looking for <laughs> well, so that's my psychology of crystal for a moment really, really? <laughs> yeah I'm gonna post. So I'm gonna post our messages say. back and forth, um, so everyone can see how <laughs> not aggressive I was, how kind you were. And no, he was I not. Was. He was very kind. And, well, that's uh, not, I'm telling you of, the Victoria thing too, and, and the water and, thing too. And when I get responses like, "Are you editing it tonight?" Um, <laughs> I responded, no, no, I'm not trying to rush you. I'm just making sure we're aware so we can try and keep some order in this world of chaos. But apparently that makes me a damn bastard. I'm a bastard no, it for asking people to do one little thing. And just a friendly <laughs> reminder, <laughs> Crystal! Oh. No. We will see this. We will post these messages one day. Never. We never will. We will never post them. Because I'm not a bad person. I didn't do anything wrong. You're not. This is bullshit. You're not. So it's bullshit. just everybody is so good to you that you expect it all the time. You know what? That's all. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> <That's all. laughs> which is not a bad thing it's just that you've mm. grown accustomed to people mm -hmm. catering to your needs so when they don't or something goes wrong you don't know how to handle it and that's okay <laughs> that's okay <laughs> <laughs> Crystal, that's a great Don't point. Forget, you know. That's a great point, Crystal. I'll try and be more comfortable in the future. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> Men hate it when you get to, like when you're when they can't debate you. They can't debate. <laughs> Cause Dino's got nothing. He's got, oh no 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 no. Oh, no 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 no. Dino he, has lost. He was coddled Dino as a child. <laughs> he was coddled way too much as a child. <laughs> And now he expects to be coddled as an adult. No. Because <laughs> he simply said it himself, when things don't go my way, that is not true. I that is, don't react well. That is not true. That's not what I said. <laughs> that, that's what exactly I said, the words that, that came out of your what mouth. I said, what I said was, I need a few minutes in the morning without any sort of change in habit to make sure to make my transition to being a kind and gentle person very easy and efficient. When people choose not to do that, I find that it takes me more time because I get aggravated and I forget my patience early in the morning. Unlike some people who feel that they have the right to tell you when and where you should be doing things. I am an adult and I think communication is very important. And I feel that <laughs> when someone says they'll do something and you hold them to it, I don't think that's being aggressive. No. I and think that's they, being very normal I've, and asking for a and fair contribution. And as they have every intention of doing it, and Whoa. as they have every intention of doing it, and they do it, listen, lady. and they work and spend listen, the time doing listen it, listen, you, okay? People do not tune in to listen to our shit every time about how we That's suck at making these videos for this them. Is some bullshit. <laughs> this is you not what they're tuning into. You know what? To hear that we are technology retarded and you have issues and <laughs> that require a big couch. I will. I will admit that I have. I have issues. I will admit that we're not technology very good i will not admit that i need a couch i will not admit that i am wrong i will say that we have a difference of opinion yes and i 
have a lot of points that make more sense. Because oh, holding someone to a is, commitment of is, time is not unreasonable, yeah. especially <laughs> especially when that person has every opportunity to say, "Hey, how many times I know has I said he I complained about his sausage fingers and saying how his sausage fingers fuck things up and blah 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 blah?" So he doesn't think that anybody else could have problems right. as long as it's on his time. That is true. And then it's his problem. Now, now, hold on. <laughs> Now, now when, when, although how long when, do we wait for the first video to get uploaded? Because Dito couldn't figure it out, right, people? True. So we had, <laughs> we wouldn't be this. T so technically, pr problems happen. See, so when people don't have a leg to stand <laughs> no. on, they start picking from history of <laughs> random things. Well, well, you did this in 1947, <laughs> and there was a time in the 70s where your hair <laughs> was longer on one side. Dito. Dito, enough. People don't tune in for this. Oh, I'm telling you. Enough. I'm confident that they do. I am confident that they do. And they're like, look at them argue. The only problem is we're going to get a comment back. Are you guys fucking back? Like, no, I love my wife. This is just conversation. And I, I, I think it is insulting that you would suggest such a thing. <gasps> Thanks a lot. I love my wife. It's not about you. <laughs> okay, I'm just saying. How dare you? How dare you abide by the vows you made to a woman? How dare you? You piece of shit. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm that tell is my why I think you're a cool guy. No, that's why I respect you. What I'm saying is that how insulting it is, the image of sleeping with me. Like, I didn't it's say not I, that did not, I did not say that. That's not what I said. Okay. I think I think that sounds horrible. Beauty is found in many. I think we should talk things. about this UFOs and stuff. Like for fuck's sake, Dino. Oh, <laughs> it's are gonna my fault. Just tune in I'm for the these are the going. <laughs> bullshit, man. This is bullshit. <laughs> you can tell me. These you can tell me when you want it done lives. or how you want it done. You don't get to say both, okay? You don't get to say both. That's the rules, okay? <laughs> You can't come there and as you do this right now. And by the way, I'm going to look over your shoulder and watch you do it the whole time. Nah, uh Sorry. I have rights. You preach, baby. I'm going to hell. I'm going to hell so badly. Like, I know I'm going what to hell. What does your shirt say? Oh, it says, I've, Only with the good ones. I've got a good heart. I've got a good this heart. Mouth. But this mouth. Yeah, I mean... I've got a good heart, but this mouth, mm, shit, gets me into trouble. Mm, shit. That's true. Yep. Yep. Oh. No, oh, I'm having a good day. Breath. I am having a good day. I'm not done. How was your day? Let's talk about you. We've hey, gone to, we talked to me for like 13 minutes, so let's talk about you for like one minute at least. That's... No problem. <laughs> I was looking up. I wanted to talk about what I was looking up this morning. So I was researching because we've been on the topic of UFOs for like a second or two per video. <laughs> I was researching um, how maybe because there could always be a, something could be said that it's this just so that way it takes away from that. Yeah. So I've been looking up some military stuff because it's always military. Right? Yeah. But you think about it. They say right now China has this one drone type thing that they're working on or this one fighter jet thing that they're working on. And they say that they started building it in 2010. Okay? And it's going to be released that the like that they're putting it out there in 2025. Hmm. So you figure that's 15 years of them working on this shit. You know what I mean? And you know that our government does it too because every technology that we get, like the smartphone or that we hear about, obviously they take the time to make these things yeah. before they announce them and put them out there. Correct. They do test trials. They do all this stuff of these things, yeah. right? They might use these things very well. They use these things yeah. before they tell us about them, right? And they don't want people to know what they are. They don't want people to see. So mm -hmm. they come up with, you know, it could be a spacecraft because we don't know. It just disappeared. Yeah. It was at this speed of light. It was blah, blah, blah. It was nothing known. It didn't show up on the radar. It didn't blah, blah, blah. Well, guess what? A lot of this stuff didn't show up on the radar, didn't show up all these new technologies. Yeah. So it's like, well, that could be it too. And they just disguise it as, well, it could be a UFO. It is a UFO because it's unidentified foreign object. Yeah. 
Yep. That's a UFO. It doesn't mean that it's alien alien. That's exactly what it stands yeah. for. It's unidentified foreign object. Because technically aliens are considered to be illegal aliens are considered to be, you know, identified people. <laughs> like, Let's not say that. <laughs> Let's not say that one. Because that's horrible. <laughs> that was a horrible. No, I mean... <laughs> people will refer to aliens in various forms and we don't know that but an unidentified flying Not object people. well no that's what you said that's why I'm trying to stop that oh. <laughs> I love she's like oh <laughs> and just jams a giant piece of food into her mouth I can okay so uh, no that's a good point it, so there's there's been there have been leaks previously uh, that we we saw where um, there were mysteries. So the United States uh, military, uh, or I guess Navy specifically, has, uh, I think it's 14, 14 aircraft carriers, I believe, uh, which is was the most. But then there were some pictures that came out of China a few years ago where they were building super carrier, super uh, uh, carriers, that even not, they didn't just have, um, they weren't aircraft carriers only, but they actually had a dry dock underneath for submarine maintenance and stuff like that. Like it was a massive, massive mm -hmm. thing where we're talking about, it was, it was as wide as a cruise ship. Uh, because the thing is like the aircraft, aircraft carriers themselves, a lot of people don't know is they're insanely powerful to the point where they have to put like the, the amount of speed that they can put out they actually have to put it in reverse a few miles out of dock so they, if they're motoring in like they to to stop them in time like they actually have to do that mm. um they can't just coast in like it's not because it's it's so massive a machine that it needs that kind of propulsion and you're right so a lot of times in we talked about this a while ago i'm not sure if it was on our first few yeah. episodes or what but we were saying how a lot of times when you picture a drone it's that it's got that goofy little big head in the front and then there's the two wings and mm -hmm. that's it yeah those are from like the 90s mm -hmm. apparently and, and oh, we yeah. were talking about this how the new ones it looks the, there were some <laughs> pictures and i think it's the same one that you sent you before. can't see it there's invisible stuff well, too there's so there's there's <laughs> uh, um photo adaptive or, or, or environmentally adaptive material on the outside so it, which is what it does is there's a camera that takes a picture and it uh, kind of re-uploads it to what's happening so it, it looks you're seeing through it and we've seen technology like that on um, uh, like uh, camouflage gear and stuff like that so there's there's a lot of stuff like that mm -hmm. but when they show they show pictures of new drones you're like not only do they mm -hmm. not look anything normal they look out of this world and that's it goes back to and that's what they're showing us now. so whatever yeah. they're not showing us is yeah. you know what i mean it's gonna come out in like 10 13 years and it's funny they're releasing oh this could be aliens and stuff oh, yeah. to kind of like distract you maybe. know during a big time to kind of distract maybe look at over here look at all this glitter Woo. oh yeah you know there's there's i love glitter <laughs> Uh, that's why we all big fan of the glitter. I'm never coming over. That's fair. That's that's a good, good to know. Uh, but yeah, no, it's it's. Um, <laughs> no, I know better. I don't wear glitter. <laughs> I remember having that conversation with somebody, um, and they were like, "Listen, you can't just glitter gets everywhere." And I was like, I'm, I, "I know that." And then like somebody walked by with glitter. And we were both like, <laughs> <laughs> trying to blow it away. <laughs> it's very frustrating. Um, no, but that's see, that's the thing is, like, we're getting we're getting this real news at a time when it's like we already have news going on that's that's literally changing the whole world around us. Um, we're finding out that that certain organizations are not at all what they seem. Um, we're seeing people's actions are not being indicative or or being described by uh, the news properly we were seeing that the news is no longer the news but it's just a media <laughs> campus for for craziness oh it's and that's yeah. why the, see the idea that you could have a drone like there's distraction there's laser technology too yeah. where they can like even microwave technology it boils you from the inside and it's it's direct yeah. it, it is directable 
right? These are these are things that are from years ago. This is not new technology. Um, the difference is now it can be done smaller. It can be in a gun. It can be in a small form where you're like, you know what? From 3,000 feet in, above you, or not 3,000, fucking 30,000 feet above you, there's no reason why this thing can't target you and just bloop. And you're like, ah, da, da, and I'm, I'm yeah. now cooked, right? Like, oh yeah. And and thing is, and it's not human operated and stuff. Remember, most oh. of those weren't human operated. That they were well, just went off themselves. If they detected, they that there was something th yeah, that they should they, so th without the, being the told. Kill command. <laughs> kill commands have always had a human element to them to protect yeah. people. Um, and new yeah. new drones do not. They can take action themselves. Um, because the drones are used to monitor certain areas because there's there's multiple um, areas that they're used and even people on the Canadian and US border have seen drones um, monitoring the borders for people to pass because what we described before in the last podcast was how they would uh, it showed the cameras it had 360 different cameras that it was using to monitor the areas but the, like for one second of of information because it was so detailed um was it was like one terabyte or some something crazy amount of information yeah. and that's why you're going listen things are being monitored and we don't even realize how insane they are um yeah. but at the same time you're kind of going I kind of wish we had it ourselves because we're in Canada and we're like, hey, buddy, it's not nice if you come on over here, okay? <laughs> it's not, it's, you know, like, we don't, we don't have this, this crazy, like, we have a military. We don't know this, really. I think that, like, because we have such close bonds with such weird countries, like, I think that, like, it's just, like, I don't know. I don't know. I think that we have more than what our people know we have. I think that we're doing more than what our people know. Yeah. Like, I think that we're played off as the super nice guys, but I think we're a lot more, like, okay. I think, you know, why are we the nice guys? And being, like, the youngest country or one of the youngest countries, like, you know, like, I'm, why are we the, <laughs> considered the nice guys? Is it because we're the most badass country? Maybe. Maybe just people say that we're nice and they want to let us in because we're really technically the most badass country. I'm sorry. I'm laughing. We don't know. I'm laughing right now, specifically <laughs> yeah. because yesterday yeah. Crystal kept on bringing up South Park. <laughs> And now I'm thinking about how they depict Canadians, where it's just like a, a, a round circle with like a, the whole the whole head that goes up. It's like, hey, buddy, how you doing, buddy? Like, hey, buddy. Ha, I farted in your Hi. face. Ha! Like it's... <laughs> but really, maybe we're the most badass country, like military-wise, and we just don't want to talk about it. Well, we want to stay on the down low. You know, like, yeah, let's think that we have shit and that we're just uh, there's loving a, everybody. There's a task But force. really, we're like... Da, 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 well, as we walk in and destroy one of the one of the most currently <laughs> trained uh, elite forces is the I, I want to say it's Joint Task Force Two is a group that trains. It's one of the only only uh, tactical teams that trains not only in um, like desert and stuff like that but also in the freezing cold in the arctic and stuff like that and that is canadian um uh, mm -hmm. those guys are are elite and uh they weren't <laughs> like they were like gi joe like they didn't get mentioned in the they only first got mentioned in public um like uh by politicians i think a few it was a few years ago probably in the early Oh. 2010s like 2012 i'm thinking or something it, like it wasn't very oh. long ago but they've been around for a long time and yeah. they're like badass motherfuckers like those guys will take you out and that's but that's the thing See? is we okay but we have <laughs> they're not going to tell us because why would they make it public for other countries to know what exactly uh, like you think they're everybody's going to tell everybody what they got no <laughs> like that's yeah, silly. But that's the thing is that's, that's like what everyone going, does. It's stupid. That's like a poker game and everybody's showing their cards. They don't though. I they don't believe they do. Cuz that's like going to a poker game being like, "Okay, this is what I got. What do you got? Let's see what we can work with here." I feel like no. I feel like it would be the like, Canadian bag. Like, "Hey guys, I want to play some poker too, but I'm not okay with uh showing my cards. Do you guys know you're showing exactly. your cards?" And then some guys would be like, "Oh, yeah. damn it. I've, I've been showing my cards." Boom. Uh, yeah. The guys like, "Hey, buddy, 
Yeah, right? I'm just trying to help you out there, right? <laughs> yeah. Turn out to be a hoser. Yeah. And that's like it's it's but it seems that that would be the most Canadian thing to do, be like, hey guys, I you know, just makes sense, but I don't understand. This makes sense, but no, well, it's like you're we right. have to learn about every other country, right? Like we and in school get a lot of knowledge about other countries, whereas not too many countries get too much knowledge about us in school. No, but like, who's gonna learn too much about who's Canada? Who's gonna invade Canada? You know, what kind of a jackass would be like? Oh, I'm gonna do invade Canada. Yeah. People would be like, what the fuck are you doing? Because you know, be like, hey, buddy, what's up? Uh, yeah, you can come on Maybe in. Maybe we're like the mob boss. Maybe we're like the boss, Maybe. and nobody touches us. Maybe. Like, <laughs> like, it can't just because we're nice, because usually the nice guys get hit a lot, right? And we don't get hit at all. Knock well, on wood. We love every country. Well, no, it's, it's more so. The only reason, see, this is the thing, is the only reason that we would and nobody be Nobody has to recruit us. No. We sign up to fight for our country. So that's another big thing, too. Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> like, there's two sides to that coin, too, right? Is that <laughs> is that uh, drafts are in place for many countries in the world, and it helps a lot of young people that are without paths to gain a little bit of perspective and discipline in their life. There are some benefits. Fuck, to I would have been drafted, so I'm so happy that we don't have that. <laughs> we don't have that. I don't know. My ass would have been done. <laughs> oh yeah, I would have been in it and I couldn't handle it. I could not be in the military as much as I think it would be cool, free education and whatever, but I'd kill too many people. I'd be like one of those. <laughs> I'd be fucked. <laughs> Crystal's issue with going to the military is her ass wouldn't recover and she knows she would murder a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, those are two fair. I'd be charged with war. Yeah, those are fair concerns. I think those are fair concerns. I'd be charged with war crimes instantly. <laughs> like, cause I'd just be going, blowing shit up. Well, this is, right you know side. what? I, I, I honestly. <laughs> but I know this about myself. Like, not because I want to blow up other people's countries, I just want to blow shit up. Like,. <laughs> Well, this is like I try to make sure that there's no civilians, of course. Anyway, <laughs> she wouldn't. She'd be like, "Fuck it, you're all gonna die." <laughs> Boom. Boom. I I think the AIs would be like, uh, "Are you sure you want to do this?" And Chris is like, "Yeah, I do." And they're like, "There's gonna be a lot of people dead here," and and she's like, "Don't give a shit." Bloop. Press the button. And they're like, you're going to have to press it twice because we're really not sure. She'd be like, do, 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 do. <laughs> It's very, I no, and I honestly, I, that's the biggest worry is that, like, I've, I've talked to people who have been, who, who were in World Wars and stuff, and and they don't have good memories of it. It's, it's not an easy thing. And no. a lot of people come back and they are not the same because it changes you, right? Like... Oh yeah. There's a reason why. You're constantly why. in trauma mode. Yeah. Like you're constantly getting fed things that would like <coughs> literally disturb people. Well, okay. like you're constantly seeing death. You're constantly seeing harm. You're constantly seeing destruction. You're constantly seeing jaded people. Like, and they it's, trust. Like, I'm sure they see so much corruption. It's like it's, you know it's so like, much worse than that, Crystal. Like I saw an article oh, yeah. the other day where I sent this out was that uh, the difference between rations was like how bad things were there was something called i think it was like panzer chocolate which was given out to the uh, nazi military force which was a mix of chocolate and methamphetamines so and you're yeah. like yeah you know why those people literally tore through countries yeah because they were high yeah. as fuck and hadn't slept in <laughs> days okay it, it's bad enough to load them with chocolate but then they're like g -g 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 give me the meth motherfucker like there's that is not a safe thing like that is a bad situation to be in and uh yeah and especially if you're a soldier because you're paranoid you're all like, uh, like well and that's that's the thing is people were like yeah you know what like, i'm so strong during world war ii there was a lot of of sexual aggression that was taken out on people and stuff like that and you're like yeah because yeah. these guys were doped up surrounded by dicks and then sent in to die yeah. Honestly, yep. uh, that's a shit. That's a shit <laughs> equation for you know, for anybody, anybody. Because you know they raped those men first, and then they went on to women. You're like, this is not good. This is a bad situation. 
It's it's not. It, listen, it is it is very very weird. And you're so pretty, you would have not lasted. <laughs> I got a nice smooth buttocks. It's not good. It's not, it's not good. <laughs> bad that is a bad situation. i don't know if i announce that because <laughs> i wonder if we do get drafted or something one day don't announce that i'm know. at the point where do now i'm like listen if you want to fuck me in the ass uh the, number one you're gonna need at least a, a solid like 10 guys to hold me down that's number one number two i'm gonna shit on you so if you're up for both those things yeah, let's do it but shit be a coming and i will make sure it's not like a solid shit it's gonna be a jackson Pollock type situation you're gonna have to change this is why he makes himself so gassy and stuff exactly. it's just in case somebody tries to butt fuck it think about it think about it somebody tries He's to put their dick prepared. in there they spread my cheeks and they just get a waft of fart that will peel the paint off the wall you would have second you would have second thoughts about doing it i'm just saying I honestly think. <laughs> I honestly think that. Oh my god, that's so funny. Well, <laughs> I'm is... gonna, I'm gonna start eating more chili, so that way I can do it too. <laughs> like that's a good protection angle. I like it. So. <laughs> that's horrible advice that we've just given people. Well, it's like, hey, if you're worried <laughs> that someone's gonna try and butt fuck you, eat some chili. Eat some chili, mix well, it up I, a bit, and that yeah. way they get a double surprise. You'd be like, yeah, you well, know what, go for it, but you might get shit on. Ha uh -huh. I'm not in the Coke and Moonshine days anymore, so chili seems like the next best result for if you're going to get fucked up. Yes, you, you better not. get because... really horrible shits up with Coke. I'll tell you, I know that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Where you're just like, no, I mean when you're more willing to do that kind of butt stuff is if you're on a lot of cocaine moonshine but now they don't party like that anymore now i'm just gonna have to eat lots of chili so that way they don't want to do it <laughs> can you imagine going down there and you're like ah, it's, oh it's so hot <laughs> can you imagine but then one guy's like oh it's spicy it just gets in there even more you're like well hey man That's, that shit's gonna happen some people oh, yeah, there's gonna be somebody so. who digs it see i didn't think of that part it's when they want to cross the line to the like putting stuff in there you're like well you know it's okay you play a little bit but now you want to push it in it i don't know about that makes you all self-conscious about your vagina you're like what happened to that is that not good enough anymore oh. like you're like jesus like well, jesus listen, <laughs> is it not tight enough I, like you try to do kegels even more because you're like you're thinking that maybe it got all gross and now that's why they want to do butt stuff you're like or did you start liking men is it like so, is it because i have small boobs is that why you're with me in the first place maybe you do like boys like, like oh my you, god you question well everyone this sexual. has been our last episode we're going to be taken off the internet by tomorrow uh whoever finds this <laughs> just know that so. i never said any of that stuff that was all crystal Morenzi. um just to be clear <laughs> that uh, we don't necessarily share the same feelings and emotions with uh, various topics so let's just make sure that things stay up and up and dino stays out of jail there we go now we're talking um no listen how is this gonna get us arrested <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you talked about kids. Just because that you... freaks me out. It, it really <laughs> what? does. What? You, you said, what did we talk about kids? Whoa. Whoa. Wait a second. You, you no, said, we did not. You, that well, did not happen. Well, Whoa. You kind of. Do you no, know? Do you know? You said. Don't know. You said. No. I have small boobs. Did I happen? Is it because I look like a little boy? Oh, and it's like, Whoa. No, I said a boy. A man. Not a little boy. A man. She's Dumbass. Not tall. <laughs> like, She's don't not, take it how you do. She's not tall enough. I'm five foot like eight. A, I'm tall enough you're to not be five look foot like a man. Eight. Are you crazy? I am five foot eight. And like nine I am inch five heels? foot seven and three quarters. Are you crazy? No, I am five foot seven and three quarters. I am so tall. You don't know because you're tall. Yeah, but I am so tall. Everyone is short. I am five foot. <laughs> I am five foot seven and three quarters, so I am damn well five foot eight. <laughs> and remember. with a pair of heels, I am almost six feet tall. So there. I'm pretty freaking tall. He shakes his head, but I'm super tall. <laughs> we haven't seen each other in that long. He doesn't know. Like, <laughs> I'm going to get a picture of us standing beside each other. I don't have one. Fuck. Uh, I need to get a picture of us. Oh, we're such good friends. I don't have a picture of you, though. I have a video. Uh-uh. I have a... Oh, I have lots of pictures of you. This is weird. You should see the collage of my... <laughs> with the candles. Okay, and your little piece of hair. <laughs> 
<laughs> what the hell? That's not okay. That's weird. That's... With your little I am hair. flattered at the, the same time. I'm like, well, you know. I am a sexual the icon. It's not kind of. my fault. I can't. You know. People are going to do what they're going to do. People are going to do anything about it. No. Honestly, I have. Glass, glass that he drank out of. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I can see, only imagine like the CSI's like <laughs> apparently she was infatuated with some sort of man child. He looks like he's the size of four <laughs> people, but also looks like a baby when he's clean shaven. Um she's a chubby chaser, I guess, but not really. She's only cut off certain <laughs> limbs that look thin. You have a lot of pictures of forearms and hands. It's very weird. Just hands like da -da 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 -da, just going around. And I'm like, I don't this is very peculiar. It's not true. Well, and then they're like, we why does she always have these, one these massive high heels? It's like, because she said she was 5'7", <laughs> and she's actually like 4'3". So she's got like these extendo legs. Like, you know you see at like the CNE where people are like walking around, and they're like, ah, oh, see, I'm really tall. You're like, no, man, we know. You're on stilts. It's fine. It's cool. Oh, it's a great oh talent. Look, even my torso is... <laughs> I feel like I should stand up, but then they wouldn't see. Oh, no, I... Oh. Yeah. Well, they won't see. They, they, you're on camera from this much of your face. How are they going to see fuck all? Come on. Let's not be, let's not be ludicrous here. <laughs> ludicrous. Oh. I don't... I can't think of any ludicrous songs. Fuck. I wanted to be all cool, and I'm like, what's Actually, a ludicrous song? There's a meme that's been going around, and it keeps on... It's got, like, Kermit the Frog looking at a window, and he's like, I still wonder if that bitch got out of Ludicrous's way. He's like, move, bitch. Uh -huh. Get out the way. Oh, that's it. I know that song. Move, bitch. Get out the way. Which is... The which, way. honestly, I have definitely... I have definitely said that, not to music. Be like... Move, bitch, get out of the way. <laughs> and the other one is, that's a huge bitch. I have definitely said that a couple times because I remember there was once I went to a birthday party that was at a gay bar. And it was a weirdly, it was with, I was with Victoria, but it was a really weird experience because like I had, I had like 30 to 60 men. Just, I walked in and it's like, just everyone looked at me and I'm like, uh, that's weird. Uh, no, this is this is an awkward situation, and literally all night long. Ooh, because they all want to change you. Well, because they want to. It's like a gay man thing. It's you know they're all well, like, Ooh, I, I can all, turn him. I, no, it's not even that. I was dressed. I was dressed from work, so I was in a three-piece suit with cufflinks and everything. I looked Ooh. dapper. There's no question Ow. there. And I <laughs> I walked in first, and. Uh, cause we had never been there. I am weird like that. So if, if it's somewhere we've gone a lot, I'll open the door and let Victoria through. But if we've never been there and I don't know the layout, I will walk through first and just start scanning like where's exits, where's this, where's that. Cause I'm crazy. Uh, so that time I walked in first. Oh, it's cause you're a protective husband. You let her walk on the inside of the sidewalk. You walk on the outside. Well, that's what you're supposed Closer to, to do. Road. That's what you're supposed to do. Do you know where that's from? That's because people would drop poop from their windows so it would fall on the dude instead of the lady. Also, you protect her from oncoming oh. traffic. Also, there's... I thought it was because a guy was selling her so he put her on the outside and the pimp walked on the inside. No, you're not supposed to be seen as a pimp, okay? You keep your pimp hands strong with using your mind. That's how you do it. I don't know. What? I've never been a pimp. What the fuck do I know? Oh, shit about fuck. This is the problem. This is the problem is people just assume that I know so much because I can talk. I can talk a good game about anything. We've talked about AI. We're talking about drones. I've seen like a few five minute videos and I'm like, oh, I can just extrapolate with other information and figure out. Oh, yeah, it all makes sense. People are going, well, you're so knowledgeable. I'm like, no, I just am not retarded. That's it. Uh, yeah. Look at me. I'm impressive. Look at me. You're impressive. You're so impressive, Dino. Every day, just a little bit more. I get more and more impressed with you. What are you trying to sell me? What the fuck's going on now? <laughs> I have to. 
<laughs> you Nothing. got me freaked out about the glass because the last glass I had around you was at your show, and I did have a glass, and now I'm freaked out <laughs> that you have some random glass like growing a new Dino. It's just like, Rah! like I don't know what's going on. It freaked me out, man. You uh, freaking me out. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna name him Little D. <laughs> Cause he's this big, but he gets all in there. I don't know what. That's not appropriate. That's not appropriate. I love my wife. <laughs> By the way, so you should know this on. Cause so there's there. We found out that there are not just hashtags, but there are YouTube tags that are specific. And every time that we've talked about, there was a picture that. <laughs> that Crystal brought up, which is essentially, uh, the, it's a carcass of a turkey, but pe people make yeah. reference that it looks like some lady's yeah. nether regions. And Crystal's That's like, ready to settle That's down. fucking horrible. Let's specify yeah. this. It is horrible. Because as a woman that says, has frequently said that I'm looking for my forever penis. And then they put this in quotations that that's what yeah. that kind of woman's this vagina is, looks like. When a girl like. says she's ready to settle <laughs> down, this is what she looks like. And you're, <laughs> it's bad. It's, no. It's horrible. Absolutely it not. It has me wanting to put my vagina online just so that way everybody knows that's not what it looks Don't like. Do that. Just Don't because. Do that. That's a bad idea too. <laughs> I'm not doing that because I have grandpa and I have family that I love. But other than that, you might be able to find it on a different website that I'll share the link to at a certain time. <laughs> then, so just for the, those that need the confirmation. Every time we talk about that, I put a tag in that says Arby's open face sandwich. <laughs> Ew! Oh no! <laughs> and it gets traction. I'm telling you guys, it actually gets people look up for this shit. And I'm like. You know what? We talked about it. It's going to be in this one. It's just uh, down the tags. It says, boom, Arby's open face sandwich. Because you know what? <laughs> it's definitely... It's, it looks so gross. It looks so gross. Like, I can't even... <laughs> <laughs> like, like, it looks like it's going to come out and, like, start talking to you or something. It's bleh. Like, That's oh, the worst image I've ever thought I, of. <laughs> I, I instantly took a mirror down there and I'm like, oh my god, tell me, let me see. You like, know what the instantly worst part? Make sure everything was still the, where it was supposed oh to be. Like, so that way it was still like nice breathe. and like, woo, I can't um, instead of all oh, like, bleh. On, on, honestly, <laughs> what I'm saying is this, is that it wasn't just that it looked so bad, but also had like a flop of skin. <gasps> covering it too like oh, it looked like justin yeah. bieber's hair where he had to keep on like flicking it out of his face you know, and you're like that's you know, not no you know what sometimes you cross the line <laughs> this this my friend is crossing the line nobody needs to have this image in their head this is why girls should not talk about women sorry should not talk about shitting they should not talk about their time. They should not talk about open face sandwiches. Because this is an image that a man should not have in his head when going to a vagina or her butt. Just in case she wants to lick or something. <laughs> you do not want these images in his head. <laughs> <laughs> like so take it out just <laughs> it's cupcakes <sighs> and they are pretty and they have sprinkles sometimes and it is just a good situation all around listen for our listeners for our <laughs> listeners crystal is in great shape she's very thin and everything this is an impossibility for the poor girl so don't assume that she has this okay this is an affliction of somebody who's had like Thank nine you. children like this this is a lady who's had like nine natural births without without even like a, a epidural she's just like let it happen it's one of those girls just let that, it go that puts those bowling pins in their areas ah, and they're like i want to see if it fits that's what happens to those areas, is they come out looking like that. I wonder if this bowling pin fits in my vagina. Ooh. I don't know, man. I, I guess it does. I have to admit, I though. I what else I could put in if, here. If I was a girl, I would <laughs> wonder what would fit and what wouldn't. But at the same time, I wouldn't want to jam <laughs> anything in there. Like... It's not. It, it's not you a. You don't want to fuck it up. Exactly. Like, you don't want right? to fuck your shit up. But you want to know. You keep it like. But you want to know <laughs> what kind of dimensions you're looking for in the right 
you know, man. Because, like, well, I don't know. Well, just it's, use a man for that. You don't split foreign objects in your vagina. I don't have a vagina. Like, it's not meant for that. I remember, I remember. <laughs> well, it's like sticking shit up your ass. Would you stick foreign objects up your ass no, to see how far you can stretch it? I don't want anything up my asshole. <laughs> I don't want anything up my asshole. Oh, well. Right? <laughs> I'm, I'm at an age well, where... just in case. No. Where there's ten men and they can deal with shit. <laughs> like, don't you want to know? I don't think most men can deal with shit. <laughs> like, I'm very comfortable with blood and shit. I'm okay with those two things. I'm not okay with vomit. I find vomit very repulsive. That's what I'm my... I'm not a fan vomit. I have definitely puked on a penis. <laughs> I definitely... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> <Whoa>! <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't my fault. It was me trying to be a champ. <laughs> yeah. And you shouldn't do that once you've been drinking. Once oh, you've so been true. drinking, you are no longer yeah. a superstar. That's you pretty cannot fair. be a superstar when you're drinking. Okay? So it's like, it wasn't like I was, you know, yeah, I no, just, that, <laughs> you were trying you to know. be a good woman and you had been drinking and you had a whole lot of vodka and cranberries and chicken and Cajun chicken wings, and one thing led to another. <laughs> oh, then it got spicy. It wasn't just the bad enough that she vomited, <laughs> but then it got spicy. Fuck, man. That would be a shit. That would be a deal breaker. Like, listen, accidents happen. No, we dated for a year after. <laughs> you need higher standards. This guy was a weirdo, man. Fucking hell. Oh, trust me. Oh, you have no idea. I that one wanna. was a weird one. That one was a weird one. Uh, that one was a weird one. Man. I don't know. <laughs> it I, was the most recent I, one, too. It was the one. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that is so very horrific. <laughs> I get it. Like, listen, it takes all sorts. That's that's why I, I always get yeah. frustrated. That I beat the bed with that one too. <laughs> I don't <laughs> because it was another drinking night. <laughs> so that one really must either have loved me or had many no options. Yeah. One of the two. One of the two. <laughs> That's a tough one. That's a tough one. You know? Like in all honesty, there's it's 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 that situation where you're like, uh, do we want to try this again or not? And there's that fear, like, what if it was really spicy? I know what she ate earlier. This is not a good idea. That's, yeah, I, don't, I get it. That's, it's tough, right? That's, it is tough. This shit happens. Well, there's nothing worse. I remember, I remember. Hey, there was no shit. That didn't happen, thank God. That was the only bodily function left. Before it was a deal breaker, I bet. I remember, yeah, there was, <laughs> fuck. You can pee on a fella, you can puke on a fella, but don't you poop on a fella. Yeah. Because <laughs> I could break it. That's pretty fair, though. <laughs> I think that's, that's, that's not unreasonable so. to be like, listen, pee, a little bit of vomit. <laughs> A little bit of vomit when you're trying to be a trooper, you know what I mean? Like, not just like random yeah, of, yeah. hey, this is great, Bleh. like, that's not, you don't want that, that's not good, no. right? No, 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 when you're trying to be a trooper. Yeah, when you're trying to be a trooper, that's a fair, that, that's going to happen, it's just an accident, right? Yeah. But if you, if you, if you just say, hey, I'm going to shit in you. both knew it was a possibility going in. You pretty much both know it's a possibility going in. You're super drunk, you've had a lot to drink. You know, <laughs> that's true. That is true. And, you know, well, and you know, mix know all about well, this. Well, and men are stupid, <laughs> and they're like, "Hey, I'll help you out." And you're like, "That's a bad idea." That's never men. <laughs> just, idea. just for future never, never push a woman's head down. She's doing her best. If she's not into it, then you know what? She's not into it. That doesn't mean you should push her head down. That is exactly how you have oh, those God, kind of no, I hate that. Well, that too, and uh, yeah, and nobody likes that because then that's how you bite. By accident, that's how like shit Ooh. happens that you just don't want to happen. That's what you're like, you know. That's not a good image. I. That is not a good image. No, I. No, I'm lucky. I have little teeth, so it doesn't happen. <laughs> I, that's the I, one good thing about having, am, not having a horse mouth. <laughs> what the fuck? I am honestly. <laughs> Those big horse teeth that some women have. Oh, and no, you're no, like, that's not, that's that not what I'm what the fucking. I'm not, I'm not what the fucking, the idea of a horse's mouth. I'm very clear on what that is. 
It's the fact that you try and turn this every every time we get onto subject like these, it turns into well, I'm not like that because I'm better. I have little teeth. It's like <laughs> what? How does that happen? No, it's because I get really self-conscious about it. And I'm like, wait oh. a second, what kind of image am I putting out there? And I'm like, fuck, I better renege on that. Wait a second, people. Wait a second. Just for the record, I like to clarify that. Well, because you don't want to put this image in people's head, Dino, especially now that people are listening. You're like, fuck. You like you have to clarify what you mean. Oh, you know what, guys? Um... And people don't listen with their full ears. <laughs> You're not using your listening ears, as some people would say. <laughs> Who says that? What the fuck people are you talking to? Oh my god. It's horrible. I don't know what's happening. I've lost control of this podcast. Crystal is just trying to make it a sale. Crystal is trying to find happiness. And you know what? Fuck I can off. never I, I can't not. I cannot stop somebody from trying to find happiness, people. I encourage it. Find your happiness. I don't th I am not looking for happiness. Maybe I like being bitter and deprived. <laughs> That's not good. Come on. I think I must, because no. I kind of dwell in it and I live in it, so. <laughs> I don't think so. No, you know what? Don't we all, though? We all do. I think as, like, a society, we do. No. Everybody goes for the angry stuff. Well, uh, On YouTube and everything, The all the it's all negative. You open up the newspaper, it's all, like, this, this, and this happened, and it's all bad stuff, and it's, like, holy. Like, I just saw a whole family get charged with all these, like, guns and stuff yeah. in the city, and I'm, like, yeah. holy. Like, There's a, fam yeah. a family of four with There's 110 a grams of crack cocaine with uh, methamphetamines <laughs> and other drugs and uh, 53 gun charges as well. Uh, oh, it's just retarded. 53 charges, I think, combined. Is it 53? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. It's it's very it's insane right now, and I just you know what? Let's let's let, here. Okay, we're yeah. almost we're almost at time right now, so let's do a little bit. We're gonna do yeah. things a little bit different here. Is uh, we're gonna do a morning motivation, okay. but before we do that, uh, of course, guys, listen. We want to make sure that uh, you please like, subscribe, share, uh, comment if there's a topic you want us to touch on. We're happy to as well. Um, and, uh, of course, for Morning Motivational Rant, we are available now on a bunch of streaming services for audio as well. Let me just pull them up here. Um, currently, we are available on... Uh, we are available on Anchor. We are available on Breaker, Google Podcasts, Pocket Casts, Radio Public, and Spotify under uh, Morning Motivational Rant. So, as well, we have our videos on YouTube. We are posting them every day at 10 a.m. Uh, so, please like and subscribe. Hit that little bell so you can get our yes. information. Uh, in the meantime, we'll do our morning motivation rant. Um, let's see. For today, I'm thinking along the lines of... Um, uh, Take the time to see through what's happening. Um, we've been given, uh, there's a lot of terminology that's going thrown around, things like deep state and false flag and um, um, uh, agent provocateur, all these things that are meant to kind of um, distract us from things that are happening, that they're all been made up and that it's, it's a thing that they're trying to say even terminology people are saying well these are protesters and then other people are saying well no they're rioters because they're doing things um there's a lot of information we're getting bombarded with on a daily basis and i would recommend that once you've watched morning motivational rant maybe take an hour off mm -hmm. maybe take some time <laughs> to, to disconnect for a little while because you know we we talk a little bit about current events and stuff um, and things that are happening, but we try not to make it a political stand or religious stand or that this is what happens or something like that for the simple reason that we are bombarded with this kind of rhetoric. And I, I use that term uh, specifically because I believe that that's what it's become is that we're being bombarded by media. Media is, like remember, social media is talking with people. It's people who aren't experts saying their opinions. People just chit-chatting. and Well, this is what I heard. 
and that kind of stuff. That mm -hmm. Those aren't facts. Those aren't information that we can really rely upon. Do research. And if you're going to watch watch something on YouTube or, or uh, someone trying to, to out um, some sort of information, um, check their sources. Absolutely. That's, that's something that we've really lost touch with is that saying, oh, okay, what happened? Um, people right now, we saw it a lot where they were getting accused of things um, and when they're challenged on it, uh, people are like, well, what does that mean? And they're like, well, it just happened. And you're like, no, no, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not questioning you on what happened. Yeah. I'm asking you what happened, what happened to do it, right? Like that it did happen, you said it happened, okay, it happened, but what happened? Mm -hmm. and, and we're seeing a lot of stuff where other people are trying to say, oh, could we frame that person so that they get kicked out of a certain place? That's ridiculous. That's a horrible thing. And, and you know, guys, if, if you don't like somebody, that's okay. There's lots of people I don't like. That doesn't mean that I can't be courteous. That doesn't mean I can't be pleasant to them and still greet them. Now, there are some people that I won't even greet because I have had enough with them. And I tell them, listen, don't talk to me. I don't want to talk to you. If you talk to me, I'm going to, I, I, also, I say this right to their face. When you talk to me, I feel like it's an act of aggression and I can't help but defend myself. And they're going, what do you mean? I mean, if you talk to me again, I'm going to punch you right in the fucking mouth. Okay, because I'm not happy with it. So that's a fair warning. But just because you don't like somebody doesn't mean that they deserve an attack or a punishment or some sort of made up event that never happened or even made up information. Take the time to yeah. take a step back, look at what's happening, and say, hey, is this who the person I want to be? Because remember, you may, you very well may ruin someone's life, and it may be even be justified. I'm not saying that it isn't. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is, is this the role that you want to play in the world around you? As the person who does this? Yeah. Because listen, if somebody's done something wrong... And who's should... that person to you independently? Absolutely. As well. Look. If right. someone's done something wrong, call the police. That's what they're there for. Mm -hmm. I know in this time it's becoming a lot more difficult to know what's right and what's wrong. Those are the things that we have. Those are the things we have available to us. I wish we had more. I wish we had more resources. But there's nothing wrong. If we're not comfortable talking to the police, then talk to somebody who's not just going to go, Yep, 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 you should fucking kill that guy. Or you should kill that girl. That's <laughs> not... That's not okay. Because that's someone who's not going to question you. They're just going to let you go right into that cliff and say, yeah, 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 don't worry, I, I killed the brakes, bye. They don't, they, <laughs> those people don't care about you. I remember a close friend who had, uh, was drunk and people were mocking him openly and he said, oh, you know, it's just comedy. I said, no, you need to drink some water. You're a fucking idiot. And he and his response was, well, it's just it's just comedy. It's just jokes. I'm like, no, they're not laughing with you. They're laughing at you. Those aren't your friends. Those aren't people who care. <laughs> so why would you entrust them with yeah. your, your value? It doesn't make sense. I think that's all I have to say. Crystal, where can everyone find you? Everybody can find me at Simply Me on YouTube. You can find me, Crystal Morenci, on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And... Yeah, Dino, where can they find you? Bum, bada, bum. <laughs> Laura Dino. Uh, Dino, Not Dino the Genetic Marvel, guys, <laughs> on uh, YouTube, uh, Facebook. I have a fan page as well as uh, Instagram. And Morning Motivation Morant, as we said, we're available on a bunch of uh, audio services uh, as well as YouTube. Uh, Instagram, we make a post every day to let you know that the it's out. But 10 o'clock every morning, uh, Monday to Friday. Uh, we are releasing something, but uh, guys, keep on going on, and uh, we really appreciate the support, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye! Bye, guys! <laughs>